Hi there and welcome back to Pierpoint. I've now had the opportunity to sketch out the position and location of the existing components on my Ziplex. So we know that it's a Ziplex ZF250. It's got eight guides and it's got a tip. I've measured the butt section so I know that it's 69 and a half inches and the tip section is 84 and a half. The next thing that you need to do is to number the guides so they go from one starting at the tip end so one all the way down to eight so number eight is your butt guide okay the next thing you need to do is to mark the spacings the guide spacings and there you've got your tape measure so we know that the first one is four and a half and then nine and a half so you start to plot those four and a half nine and a half fifteen and a half twenty all the way down when you come to do your butt guide make sure that you you get the distance from the spigot end to the butt and I know that's eight inches so I'm going to put that in there okay and while we're here you've also got a spigot wrap on the butt section it's 80 millimeters in length there's a trim band of about two mil seven turns on the rod so make sure you put that in as well you then need to know the diameter of your guides so you need to measure those with your digital calipers okay to get the diameter so we know that the first four guides are 12 mil diameter there's a 16 a 20 a 25 and then the buck guides 30 okay so make sure that you mark that on there as well now there's a couple of additional things down the down the bottom here so at the bottom of your buck you've got the the buck cap the reel seat the shrink tube and the decal the shrink tube is 41 and a half inches in length the customer may want a bit more but you're going to run out of room at the top of your rod so you need to be careful with that try and stick to the original you can go an extra inch or two but obviously you need to know his sort of arm spacing when he's casting okay if you need to increase the length on that there's a gap a one inch space before you get to the decal the decal is 23 and a half centimeters long by 28 mil wide okay and we know exactly where that goes in accordance with the shrink tube the reel seat, if it's a roving reel seat, then of course uh, you don't need to worry about that because the shrink tube will just go from uh, the bottom all the way through. If it's a fixed reel seat, and my customer, the unknown angler from Sussex, he wants his reel seat 8 inches from the bottom. So I'll make sure that I put that in. Okay, so far. Good. So that is a record of that existing rod. Okay, it's layout, it's components, and then you have to make sure that you've got all the components on the workbench before you start the strip down phase of that rod so we just go through that okay starting at the bottom you've got your butt cap 25 mil followed by your reel seat okay 26 mil that goes in there followed by your shrink tube okay it's 30 mil in diameter and it's one and a half meters in length okay it's the plain black japanese shrink tube so you've got that the most important thing out of all these components is the Ziplex decal. This is what's going to take you the time to get hold of. So do not strip the rod down until you've got this on the bench. Okay? And that's why you need to know the size, the length and the width. Okay? And then hopefully you get hold of that. Then we need to have all the guides. So the customer wants the Fuji BM and AGs, so make sure you've got them all in stock, right, the whole lot. Now the only thing you haven't got at the moment will be your tip section. We know it's 12 mil, but you won't know what the internal diameter tube bore size is until you take the tip off the rod. Okay, so we know that the, the tips to match are the BM GATs. I know it's a 12 mil, and the tube bore size is going to be 3.2, 3.6. So I've got those in stock anyway, but it's just to point out that you may not know what that is until you take that off. So when you're ordering your components, you might have to take the tip off the rod to get the correct size to get that ordered. Now, thread. The customer wants a metallic underwrap for the butt guide, which is the red metallic thread, grade A. Okay, so that's the pro wrap version. And then we'll have the black guide foot wraps. So for this, We've got the, it's the midnight thing they call it. The RNA is 862, size D thread. So there you've got your red metallic, size A. 
the black size D and then the trim bands are going to be the Fuji grade A and that's the NOCP version okay so there's all the components that you need to start your uh, rod building now a tip for you trying to graph pencil and then you want to have a look at the butt guide and you want to mark the location of that on the butt section so what I do is I just put a yellow mark inside the spigot there to show if I put a mark at the bottom I know that the guide is on the top this rod's obviously been in use for a number of years so this rod has got used to that guide being in that position so I'm likely to keep it the same once you've stripped down your rod you will not know where that guide was and I think it's important to match that up with the tip okay as it was and has been for probably 20 30 odd years since the rod was made okay so that's a, a good little tip there make sure you make the mark and then we'll go all the way down to the bottom of the tip section to the spigot okay and I've done exactly the same here I've actually put a mark on the rod where the guides are so the guides are on the top there so I'm going to make a mark because once I take those guides off I will not know the location of those guides what side of the rod they were on and the previous rod builder would have looked at the spine of the rod you know its power and performance and put those guides in the optimum position so you need that record okay as I say once you take the guides off you won't know where that was and then you can check and confirm the spine of the rod okay and then that's just to show that that's where you, know, you find the location of your, your guides just using the tape measure okay and roughly working out the position okay so there you have it there you have my sketch diagram of the location of the existing components I've purchased the components which as you know from previous videos I get from guides and blanks okay they do a door-to-door -door service overnight delivery so that's where most of my components come from the decal is a specialist printer over in Eastbourne which uh, all of you probably know is Hugh Potter he does the Ziplex decals okay so there you go you've now got all your components and you're now ready for that stripped down phase